Jerusalem, a historical journey through archaeology and art. Jerusalem, a mosaic of different peoples, faiths, and nationalities. Nevertheless, despite this diversity, under the sovereignty of Israel, Jerusalem is a city that works. But has it always been this way? The first historical mention of Jerusalem is in the Bible, in the era of the patriarchs. King David declares Jerusalem as Israel's capital, known from that point on also as Zion. His son, King Solomon, builds the first temple. But the temple is destroyed by the Babylonians, and the Jews are exiled. King Cyrus's declaration enables the Jews to return and rebuild the temple. Alexander the Great's conquests include Jerusalem. However, his successors desecrate the temple. Which leads to the Maccabees' revolt against the Greeks' imposition of Hellenism. The Roman Empire seizes control and King Herod renovates the temple. A large-scale revolt against a corrupt and vicious Roman reign fails. The second temple is destroyed and the Jews are banned from Jerusalem. Sixty years pass and Bar Kokhba leads another revolt for the freedom of Jerusalem. But it fails after three years of battle. Jews are banned from the city renamed by the Romans Aelia Capitolina in order to eradicate its Jewish heritage. Roman Emperor Constantine converts to Christianity and reinforces the ban on Jews entering Jerusalem. A new religion, Islam, sweeps through the Middle East. Non-Muslims are declared second-class citizens. Crusaders conquer Jerusalem in a bloodbath of Jews and Muslims. 2,000 Jews are burned alive in the main synagogue and the city is depopulated of its previous inhabitants. The first organized mass Jewish return arrives from France and England. The Mamluks defeat the Christian kingdom of Jerusalem and building and renovating of synagogues and churches is banned. The great Mishnai commentator Rabbi Ovadia of Bartonura settles in Jerusalem. The Ottoman Empire takes over, imposing restrictions on Jews and Christians, and Sultan Suleiman rebuilds the walls. But as the empire declines, Jerusalem is badly neglected. Still, the Jewish people stream back, build new neighborhoods, and re-establish their majority by 1863. World War I breaks out. The Ottoman Empire collapses and makes room for a new Middle East. The British Foreign Secretary, Arthur James Balfour, declares the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people. Britain receives a mandate to create a Jewish homeland, but forbids Jews from blowing the shofar or reading holy scrolls at the Western Wall. Thousands of Muslims are incited to unleash an attack against Jews in Jerusalem and Hebron. 86 Jews are brutally murdered, hundreds are wounded. UN Resolution 181 declares Jerusalem as a corpus separatum, a separate entity. A Jewish state is declared as Jerusalem is put under siege, conquered and divided. 58 synagogues are destroyed or desecrated. Harsh limitations are imposed on Jews and Christians for 19 years. The Six-Day War. Jerusalem is reunited and freedom and equality are restored. Throughout history, only Israel has protected the freedom of all peoples and faiths in Jerusalem.